Hey what's up guys, this is Free the Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial but at the same time it is also an announcement on what I'm doing on my Patreon in January 2025. So it will be all about cosmetic products, you can see this is my collection of references just to inspire me what kind of product shots we could aim for. And I already have a lot of ideas. So for example, I want to do some whiskers simulation with you where some fluid is just dropping onto your product just like you can see it here. I mean, this one is amazing. Also with the subsurface parameter in the material. All right, so I definitely want to do something like that. I also want to combine a cosmetic product with, for example, these splashes that you can see here. Okay, so this seems to be like quite a famous visual for these advertisements. All right, so you can see see different approaches to it. Something like this one I also want to do on my Patreon and I also want to do something with these swirls going along our product. So I have a lot of ideas here. This one is also great where we dip our product into a liquid like these and get these beautiful splashes here like this crown splash which just looks amazing. So for some of these effects we probably will use the Insidium tools but other stuff like these ones for example we can perfectly fake in Cinema 4D to just make some beautiful droplets like these ones. Actually, you could do this with a builder mesher setup and some spline shapes. Okay, so this is also pretty amazing. And maybe I should mention that I'm just working together with my favorite modeling artist Julian Jang right now to provide you on my Patreon with some custom unique assets that we then can texture and play with. So this is just work in progress. But I think overall the final cosmetic product asset kit will be around four to six really high quality all quads assets and you will find those in the Knights membership in January included in your membership later then starting in February 2025 they will be included in the shop all right but as I said in January you will get all of these assets and as I said this is just work in progress so this will change but you will get the assets included in the membership so that then we can play around and create all beautiful product shots like these ones in those references so I'm super excited to share this asset kit soon with you on my Patreon. And as you can see here also in January, you can get a 50% discount when you use this discount code. But I think also when you are just a brand new member and sign in for the first time, it will automatically be applied to the Knights membership. This discount is only for brand new members and it will be available until 1st of February 2025. All right, so it is a good time to join my Patreon. I also already created two lessons with faking liquids in Cinema 4 D, but now I think it's also a good time to share some knowledge with you here on YouTube. All right, so I would say let's just fire up Cinema 4D and let's just fake some fluid effect here. But as you know, when then the product kit will be shared with you, we will combine these liquids effects and also true liquids effects with our products and create amazing cosmetic product shots. All right, but now let's start the lesson here on YouTube. So I think I will just share a technique with you on how how to fake liquids in case you don't want to use a true liquid solver that you can get for example of course with Houdini but you can also get the liquid solver with for example the Insidium tools to just make some liquid simulation but I would say we can also just fake some liquid effects in Cinema 4D natively with the new Particles engine in 2025. I think like with the 2025 iteration they added the follow spline modifier so we will definitely use this one to move some particles along a spline and actually what I share with you now is kind of the same lesson that I already shared on Patreon like faking liquids with Cinema 4D particles. There is another lesson where you can achieve the same effect with Pyro but I thought I could also share this lesson here with you guys. So we want to move these particles with the follow spline along a spline. So therefore you need a spline and when you want to make some swirl some beautiful helix along your object then of course you could use the helix object that is a great option but you could also draw your spline if you just want to take a little bit more time I will make this a bit shorter and maybe a bit longer to achieve something like this one all right and I think it could be closer to our product let's do it like that and maybe our fake product here is just a bit bigger and you could also angle it to just make the shot a bit more interesting and let's just say we want to move like a liquid sim along this spline here all right so therefore just go over here and put the basic emitter into the scene. You can keep this one at the rectangle, but I would say to just make this one already more liquid shaped 
you could put this one to a circle and maybe you want to yeah just stretch this a little bit do it like this move it down there more or less this seems to be a good angle let's rotate it a little bit so it is already aiming into the right direction here and now let's see where we are right now all right you can't even see particles so i guess i need to activate the particles here now these particles shoot into the scene all right but they don't move with the spline so let's just go to the follow spline modifier it looks like we need to drag this one in and let's just see what is happening now all right these particles are moving with the spline this is amazing i think we could put this one to 8000 for example to just make this one already thicker and i kind of like that we get like this lip shape in our swirl so that's kind of cool okay i think what i also want to do is to kill the particles when they are at the top so therefore you can just go into your follow spline set this one to kill and there you can see this one is cut off so this is looking good you could already now put this one into a builder and a measure now you can see you get your particle swirl here you could put this one to three to just give this one more resolution set it to two for example all right get something like this okay now this one is very blue lobby you could put a smooth into it put this one also to two and you get something like this one all right but of course you also want to mix in a little bit of turbulence and i also think that this one could even be set to 10 to make this one even more sharp in this angle okay i like this one but now let's just think about some additional modifiers or forces so let's just put a turbulence into the scene and you know that the turbulence is always making stuff more interesting now let's just see what effect we get here let's give it more strength okay and all already you get quite a strong effect so maybe i set this one to 40 and this one to 20 to just get a little bit of a different effect i kind of like this one already this is already a great result you could also use different other modifiers like for example let's just see like for example a flock modifier this one can work with cohesion so when you set this one to 20 then in a certain radius these particles will glue together let's just see if we can see some of this effect yes definitely some of these particles now they will just have cohesion between each other and will build like little clumps something like this one okay so this is already making it just a little bit more interesting and i would say we could even duplicate our turbulence let's see what this one is doing okay so this has quite a strong effect when we duplicate the turbulence so i think like this one could be set to 10 and maybe this one to 25 and i sometimes forgot about the difference between acceleration and force so i just want to see what this one is doing okay so once again this is changing it too much i set this one down to 20 and maybe this one to 30 let me see the result one more time and okay I already kind of like the shapes that we are getting here. I just think that we could go to our emitter and to the properties. Maybe we want to reduce the radius to 7.5, something like this. And at the same time, we could go into the emission. And why don't we just put like 20,000 into the scene just to get more resolution into our simulation. Okay, let me just see this one. And I think overall, this is quite a nice result for a first quick setup. Of course, you can fine tune this way more and work with other forces and modifiers. But then the secret is just to put this one into a builder and a measure to mesh your volume. And let's just see now this is getting really thick. So I think you can go to your particle group, set this one to five, for example, or set this one to three, something like this. I want to set this one to four or 4.5. And maybe I set this one to two. Okay, so you can see that this one is already quite a nice shape i want to make the particles just invisible for a second and i would say already when you put like a liquid shader onto this one this could look beautiful but something else that you can also do is to put a delayed and erode into it now this is blowing up but you just want to make it a bit more narrow i just want to eat a little bit of the volume away to get something more sharp like this one just a bit more thin i want to give it more resolution or even go to a box size of one now you can see that this one is 
just thinner and more sharp. Let's see if I want to eat even more away of the volume. Okay, maybe something like this one. But yes, you can see the potential here. You get like these beautiful holes into your volume. And when you just spend a little bit more time with this setup, then I am sure that you could achieve effects like you can see here in these references. Okay, something like this one, for example, with a subsurface shader on the material or even something maybe like these ones. All right. So I would say this was just a fast, short lesson here. I will dedicate a whole month or even two to cosmetic products and liquid simulations on my Patreon. So I hope to see you there and thank you so much for your time. See you next time. Bye everyone.